Hey, I'm Paul. How you doing? We today are in what we call the admin area, the administration area. I don't know why people can't just say administrate. I guess it's easier to say admin. We all got to have these cool terms, right? Um, our CFO, or you know, we can't just say what what that person actually is. But anyway, no ranting. Got my buddy. Our front office is this is what you see kind of when you walk into the front office of PS Audio, and it, I don't know how much you can see of this desk. I don't think a whole lot, but this desk and there's a pair of them are actually really cool. Again, made by my son Rob, who has a, a company called Fin Art in Denver, and they they manufacture pretty cool reclaimed furniture. So these were reclaimed from the tail section of an old DC tail dragger, uh, an old airplane. These are airplane wings. And we just like a bit of style. I, I you know, I, I guess we could have um, Office Depot furniture here and try and look official, but we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty loose here. And um, bes you, you, I don't, can you see that behind us? So over here, this, this is our aquarium and our friendly little fish over here. And that's where we keep track of the month, so that every employee at PS Audio who goes by the admin area can see where we are for shipping in the month. And any company, you know, has to work really hard to try to get stuff out the door and make sure it's done right, and, and we are no different. So we are at this point at about halfway towards our goal. Um, this current month, we're, we're hoping to do about a million bucks. So, anyway, we should be able to do it. I hope so. Okay, today's question <clears throat> comes from Gerard in Altamont Springs, Florida. I heard it got snow in Florida the other day. <laughs> Crazy weather. Paul, I really appreciate you taking some time to answer our questions. My pleasure, sir. Uh, here's my question. Why can't they make transistors that sound like tubes? Uh, I have a tubey sounding solid state amp, but it doesn't sound like a real tube amp. Of course not. I love the sound of tubes, but always bothered by the fact that sound quality deteriorates with use. Well, Gerard, I, I'm with you. For 45 years that we've been in business, uh, up until just recently, we never had tubes though I loved their sound in any of our equipment. And the reason was simple, that for what you state. Tubes, while they have a great sound to them, and they are now in our BHK products, the preamplifier and the mono and stereo amplifiers, sounding terrific, they do have to be replaced. Tubes don't last forever, and solid state devices essentially do. So uh, that was one of the reasons why I hesitated forever to uh, put tubes in. Here, here's, here's a vacuum tube, okay? So a glass envelope, and we need that glass envelope. Why? Well, because what is inside of a tube is a vacuum, and it, they don't work very well without a vacuum, in the same way that a light bulb doesn't work very well without a vacuum. And the reason for that is you've got this filament down here that is boiling electrons and you want those um, to not be lighting up and, you know, and, 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 and burning out. You want them to boil their electrons and not light up any of the, the air uh, particles. And of course, in a vacuum, things work better uh, when, when we're dealing with higher voltages and the, the way a tube works. So uh, a tube basically has a couple of things that a transistor, and here, here so here's just, here's a transistor, <laughs> and that's a big transistor. So you can see the difference between the two, and this is a big tube. This is out of a, a ModWrite DAC, by the way. It, and this tube, by the way, is not an amplification tube. In the, in the ModWrite, this is a uh, rectifier, a rectifier tube. And so tubes work very differently than transistors. Tubes, like transistors, have three elements, uh, a plate grid and a, and a cathode. And similarly to that, you have an emitter base and um, a 
collector on a BJT, a, 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 a bipolar junction transistor, and you have a, um, I'm getting old folks, I don't remember all this stuff, a gate, a drain, and a source for a FET. And FETs are much more like tubes than BJTs or bipolar transistors are. We'll get to that in a sec. So a tube runs primarily most of them on very high voltage, where a transistor might run on 15 volts, maybe 20. A tube runs on 100, sometimes 200 volts. So there's a very big difference. And, and one of the first things we see from high voltage devices to low voltage devices is the area of linearity. Every device, whether it's a tube or a solid state device, has an area of linearity. And if, if you were to see the curve of linearity, what you'd want to see is from the lowest to the highest, you'd want to see a straight line so that for every level of amplification within its range of its, of its highest to lowest voltage, it is linear. Voltage in equals voltage out. But in a tube or a solid state device, you don't see that. At the low ends, you have this kind of a curve. Then in the middle, you have sort of this straight line linear region. And then at the end, it, it, uh, it S's out too. So it kind of, I don't know what kind of curve that would be, not an S, but anyway, it kind of looks like this. And, and a transistor is the same. And, the, and, and if we imagine that the area of linearity, let's call it 20%, 30%. If you have 30% of the area of your device is linear, if you are running that device at 100 volts, you've got 30 volts of linearity, just to keep it simple. Don't get all wiggy on me and start quoting formulas and crap. You know, I'm just trying to explain things simply, okay? I know some of you just get all start shaking. <laughs> if I have a 15 volt device, well, then I only have like a four and a half volt area of linearity. So, and, and we can use feedback, we can use all manner, whether it's local or global feedback, to make up, to, to linearize it so that what comes out is more linear. But, so the first thing is that a higher voltage device, like a tube, has a greater linear area than does a lower voltage device, typically a solid state device. Tubes also draw almost no current on their input, where a transistor, like a BJT, is a current amplifying device, and a tube is strictly a voltage amplifying device um, when we're concerning its, its input. A FET, or a field effect transistor, is the closest thing you're going to get to to a tube, and it too, uh, although it does draw a little, it's kind of a, a hybrid, it, it draws a little bit of current, but mostly it's a voltage amplifying device as well, like a tube. So they're closer to tubes. The sound of these devices is definitely different, and anybody who will tell you that three devices, a tube, a BJT, and an FET, running at the same voltages relatively, you know, in terms of signal level, at the same gains within a specified area that is not outside their range, does not sound different because they don't measure different, is full of you know what. I'm sorry, they just do. And there are a number of reasons for it. And, and these videos are, are too short to go into all of them. A quickly, a tube power amplifier, if it uses tubes on the output stage, that's a whole nother ball game because there we have uh, a basically a, a high impedance device that is trying to drive a low impedance speaker. Typically, we have to match that with a transformer to make up the difference in impedance. There are uh, things called uh, output transformerless or OTL amplifiers, and those amplifiers have you know rows of tubes that are driving the speaker directly, but those are rare. So if we're going to use tubes, in our opinion, we want to put those tubes in the input stage where they do the, the, the most good. And in our designs of amplifiers, we use vacuum tubes on the input. In our solid state amplifiers like the Stellar series, we use field effect transistors or FETs on the input, which very much sound like tubes, and that's how we get a tube-like sound. But 
Transistors will never sound like tubes, and tubes will never sound like transistors because they are just different. All right, take it easy. Talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.